Hello everyone, welcome back to The Lloyd and Matt Show This is the first one First ever Lloyd and Matt Show First of many New show, new, I mean New setup New name, new setup, new vibe Do you like the new setup? Do you like the new chairs? They're what do you think? chairs to be fair but... ah. Oh we were gassed when we got these chairs Yeah we were <laughs> I don't think I've <laughs> done mine up properly What the chair? Yeah Oh shit, yeah what? You was leaning back a lot on the <laughs> left. <laughs> Lean on, Lean on Bob. Bob. No, but it was, when, when we were recording the TikToks, it was going, <laughs> it was talking. <laughs> okay, then. Let's jump right in. Yeah, new segment starting every week. Wait. Okay. No. <laughs> Buddy just stopped traffic for no reason. No, I was going to say, like, let's like reflect on the Lonely Boy out. Nothing's changing. It's just <laughs> a name and a setup. But we're going to be your agony uncles. For the first 10 or 15 minutes of every episode. I like that a lot. We're going to answer your dilemmas and questions at the start of every pod. So there's a link in our bio on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom it says, ask us anything anonymously. And Instagram. Yeah. And that's what you can do. And we'll answer them. And they are outrageous. They've been been good. They've been good. We asked for some the other day. There's like 700. 700? Well, we've been doing it a while. Like, as in, we used to oh, do dilemmas. Okay, yeah, yeah, not yeah, 700 yeah. new ones. Right. But we are Agony Uncle Lloyd. And I'm, I'm Uncle Matt. <sighs> How did you get it wrong? I just meant to say Agony Uncle Matt and you went, I'm Uncle... Uh, no, I'm, I'm, for this segment of the pod, I am going to be Yellis and Tam. <laughs> Yellis and Tam is Matt's <laughs> villain name. It's Matt backwards. It's Matthew. It's Matt Mosley backwards. Yellis and Tam. That's the coldest name of all time. So I, I'm going to be answering his Yellis and Tam. Oh God! So you're going to be crazy and wild and sexist. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Just to add a bit of spice. <laughs> okay. Sexism equals spice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so random. These. Okay. Ready? Agni yeah. uncles. Yeah. One day ago, I went to Mackey's and Mac- I ordered a chicken mayo without the mayo. He's chatting raucous. Why? Chicken mayos don't exist. What are they now? Oh, no, they do exist. I'm thinking they're a legend. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Not, yeah. I no, study the menus. You're skipping, over, yeah, <laughs> you're skipping over the part they got a chicken mayo with no mayo. What's wrong with so you? So it's just chicken and lettuce. Anyway, not judging. I am. As a meal. They got a chicken mayo as a meal with chips and a drink. What drink do you reckon they, what they, what drink do you reckon they got after hearing that? Water. Uh, uh, yeah, probably water. Fruit shoot. Fruit shoot, Fruit shoot. water, something weird. Ketchup in a, <laughs> ketchup <In> a bottle. <laughs> in a bottle. <laughs> when I got my order, finally, I finished my chips. They mm. were soggy. Uh. I then got to my burger. Only three words. It had mayo. Fuck. What? So I threw it out the window. In Littering. Mackey's. I think they must have been sat in a car. Yeah, got to be sat in a car. I wouldn't have gone up to them to tell them because it's really scary. Should I have done something else? Yeah, you should have... Take, ordered something normal. No, taken a picture of your receipt. Yep. Taken a picture of the burger. Yeah. And like just claimed on a crazy lawsuit. How would they have claimed? What, that they're allergic? Yeah. Yeah, they, there needs that, to be proof that? of that. You need to, to how, win a lawsuit, you need proof you're allergic to mayo. No, but you, 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 that person could have just said you're allergic to mayo. And then when it gets to court and everyone finds out they're not, or, you've wasted everyone's time or, over a 99p burger. Or they could Are say, you proud of yourself? Or they could say they're vegan. I think, is the mayo in McDonald's vegan now? Wait, it's a chicken burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can say they're vegan with a chicken burger. No, mayo is made of eggs and vinegar. So yeah. So you can't have vinegar. So what's vegan mayo made of then? You can't have vinegar. <laughs> vegan <laughs> mayo? Is that actually a thing? Vegan mayo is definitely a thing. I think Nando's mayo is, might be vegan now. I thought it was just paint. <laughs> just a tub of white paint <laughs> no Nando's mayo oh is that why it's differed a little bit yeah it doesn't taste as good I think oh it is vegan it's days. got the old VG in green <laughs> I'm not joking the old v- when you see the VG, the VG green everyone all the bloods yeah. all the bloods all the boys <laughs> all the crips all the boys get up and leave when you see the VG on the yeah. menu have you ever tried going vegan uh, I haven't tried I've dabbled in, in my brain of debated going it mm. and I just can't I love meat too much pause <laughs> Before I'd even said it, I knew I was going to have to say pause. But I just, I love meat. The thing is though, vegan the vegan food and vegetarian food is progressing at a quick rate. Yeah, I think if I lived a in- A scary one, rate. Yeah, if I lived in one of the VG cities, which have great options, then I think I would. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Bill Gates 
I don't know, the bloke. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know, bloke. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I came out like I'm drunk. Uh, the he wants everyone to go meatless. Everyone in the whole world. Fuck that guy. Fuck that Who guy. the fuck is he to tell us to go meatless? He should meet more. Yeah, I need more meat. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> he should go and meet more people. But the, the, He went on fucking Ellen DeGeneres' show. And said... He thought like a carton, carton of milk, milk is $22. It's the bloke don't fucking leave the house. He needs to meet more. <laughs> not meet less. I'm not even joking. But do you know what the conspiracy theory of that is? He's an alien. So Bill Gates owns like 84 million acres of farm. And he's telling everyone to go meatless. What's up with that? Yeah, but maybe he keeps the cows and that alive. They're his friends. Maybe they do the shopping. He don't. <laughs> Got robotic but if the cow cows. Was getting the milk, then it would just udder it itself. Yeah. So why would he does. go to the shops? Ah, uh, have you ever have you ever had milk straight from the source? No, no one's had straight from the source milk. You had straight. You're allowed to speak, sir. <laughs> what What was that farm in near Oxford? And you could go and watch sheep being shaved and shit. Did you ever go to that? Oh, your and, granddad's garden. <laughs> but there was this one, and there's like pretend cows everywhere that you can udder. Whoa. No, let's be really realistic right now. Okay. Fine. What was the first guy who learned you could milk a cow? What was he doing? Yeah, what was he Like, doing? that's obviously a joke for everyone. But and what then why the did fuck he taste he it as well? Yeah, and he knew it was good as well. He probably thought six penises. Do you think he was gay? And he was just having a go? He must have been. No, because that doesn't make you gay. <laughs> what, having a go on a cow? Yeah. Let have you seen that horse video on Twitter? Oh my God. Do you heard, you heard me react it. to it? I haven't seen it yet. So I I, I, it. Lloyd was in the kitchen and I was like, I was like, what's everyone on Twitter on about this horse video? And then I was like trying to find it because I was interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. And then it was like, as a, you know how you can do four pictures on Twitter? Yeah. And the first four were pictures and then the, the fourth one. The first three were pictures. The sorry, the first. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 we got it. Yeah. And the fourth <laughs> one was a video. Yeah. And I just like swiped down so I could see half of it. Ugh. And it was of a guy like stroking a horse. Yeah. And then it just skips to him Hard getting cut. fucked by one. And oh my God, I think I lasted maybe half a second. Fucking vibe. Pause. Pause. What? You think you lasted half a second while I was watching that video? You can't phrase it like that. Pause. You said I put the video on and I lasted half a second. Maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe less. That was my No Not November failure. That's Which, by the way, are you doing? I've already failed it. Have you? Yeah. You've already failed it? It's day two. I failed on day one. Morning one. Come on now. Serious? I forgot it was No Nut November. No, I, I forgot as well. And I was six minutes in to Your November. Wank. Oh. And I looked at the time and I was like, Ooh, nah, not this month. <laughs> I'm going to uh, do it this month. You're not going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've already tested myself. Yeah. And I've not done it. It's been two days. <laughs> yeah, but that's, four, that's a four. Is it no females as well? Or is it just no self? Fellatio. <laughs> Jesus! What is it? Is it no females as well? No, I think it's just badonking. But don't just what what did what's he saying? What does Bobby Schmurder say in that video or or whoever it is? I rubbed one out or something like that. I'm gonna rub a spunk. That's the basement yard. I'm gonna rub a spunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know this started with a 99p chicken mayo. We what go so fuck? off topic. I'm oh, not we're gonna be agony uncles. Sorry, someone's so what really, should they? Someone's really just caught my attention. Like, there's some guy in an office there. Is that backwards? Yeah, and yeah. he's huge. You can see that. Yeah. Let's look. We're okay, trying okay. to... What's your advice for them with their mayo? Should they have just gone up and said, excuse me, my burger has got mayo in it. Can you give me another one? Yes. Yes. That's what they should have done. Yeah, you should have said... I should, or you should I have smeared specific- the windows with mayo if yeah. you want to go yellow some tam root. <laughs> <laughs> I would have put that mayo on the window and say, how do you like the mayos? Or put it on the chef's head and say, what are you? <laughs> an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Okay, this is the one I said that I think someone has literally confessed to a attempt to murder. <laughs> I accidentally poisoned my sister. <gasps> I actually planned on poisoning my dog. What? But apparently she ate that dog food. Thank God my family still doesn't know. I got so many questions right so now. So he attempted to poison the dog. Okay, firstly, why? No one knows. That's why? such animal cruelty. And secondly, why the fuck is your sister eating dog, dog food? food? It's got to be made up. That's got to be. But hopefully, hopefully it is. Plus, why are you telling us? 
Yeah. What are you telling Yellis and Tom of all? We're going straight to the feds with snitches. Yeah, with snitches. And you know what? Snitches get poisoned. Yeah. By dog food. <laughs> yeah. But why are you trying to poison your dog? Can't be real. Hopefully fucking... it's not real. The thing is though, do you, like there are, there are, I feel like there needs to be more checks in the UK with dog owners. Yeah. Yeah. Loads 100%. more. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Iceland has like the strictest. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll accept it. Eight words, strictest. <laughs> Scripted. No, yeah. strictest. <laughs> yeah. Strictest? Strictest. Rules on owning a dog. Yeah. And they've got like the the least amount of animal cruelty. Animal like cruelty strays. Yeah. yeah, that's how it should be. In Bulgaria, there's so many stray dogs. Mm. Loads. They're Licking just up. there. And they don't look well either. They don't look friendly. No. They would eat you, I reckon. You'd get some. I reckon they actually would eat a child. They yeah. Would, I reckon easily. All animals do. But like, it's on the beach, right? Like, yeah. there's loads of people on the beach. And there's just like eight or so dogs hunting in packs. Hunting yeah. all your leftover lunch and stuff. Or my poo that was on the floor. Oh. Yeah. They must have feasted on that. They'd have died from that. A hundred percent. Yeah. At my school, they have a, they've put a cat litter box in the pastoral office. Is that how you say it? Pastoral? Pastoral? Office for the furries. Amongst what? people in my school. What? There's a cat litter box in an office for furries to go to. What? In a school. What? What? What's going on? What? What is happening? I, th- I always thought furries was just like, uh, like really comedic. Like I thought they were being funny, but then I've seen like actual TikToks yeah. of people who live as furries. The thing is, I, I feel like, and I don't want to be mean to anyone that listens to as a furry. Yeah. But I also don't want people to listen to us if they're furries. <laughs> what are you doing? Our whole audience might just stop listening. We don't have a hundred percent furry audience. Hundred percent. No. Also, at the same time, I feel like if you're a furry, uh, it's almost like a kink that's gone too far. Yeah. They've become and their life. I don't get how it's being let into schools now. No. That's outrageous. They're given litter boxes. Yeah, that's outrageous. Let, do what you want to do. No, don't do what you want to do. You taking? You making a stance on? This? I'm making a stance on no furries. furries. Like those, I've seen that's so furry phobic. I've seen so many furries, right, uh, at it, conventions and shit mm. that are like, it's it's basically like halfway to, I feel like a a sex convention. They're getting sexual pleasure out of doing this, hundred percent. Yeah, but you can say that about a lot of conventions and stuff. Like some, like a lot of comic book lovers True. get a lot of pleasure out of Comic Con when True. they all dress up as like Black Widow and stuff. True, but at the same time, I feel like furries are going down the children route, so it's it's halfway to paedophilia as well. Uh, are they? <laughs> I've never. I haven't really looked furry, into it that much. If but... you're a furry, you're a paedophile. I'm putting it there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look, this is Yellis and Tam speaking. Yeah. yeah, true. No but... one can stop me. These are his own <laughs> thoughts and opinions. I haven't looked into furries that much, to be honest. Just, just be normal, please. This girl at school bullies me, like pokes me, strokes my hair, barks at me, and also meows. I find it a bit disturbing. Maybe she's about to become a furry. Do you reckon that's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, but if you find it disturbing, is that you getting bullied? Pokes, strokes, and barks at them. That is bullying. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. She said she finds it disturbing... Yeah. Is that a, a feeling when you're getting bullied? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, of course you can be disturbed while you're being bullied. You can be upset. You can be offended. You yeah, can be... true. True. And if they keep doing it, poking and stroking and barking at you. Do you ever get bullied at school? No. See, I did quite a bit. For what? Just being me. Being a furry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you speaking from experience. Yeah. Uh, I... This is what I said to my cousin. Yeah. And those bullies. Yep want a reaction yeah so don't give it them or yeah, just knock them straight out yeah give them the, the yeah. yellow and tam elbow yeah no nah, don't do that you will get expelled but you should uh just just be fight just fire weird. with fire no weird them out fight fire with fire no peace beat them up no you want peace in this planet fight peace fight we want peace and love fight P- love always wins fight <laughs> you devil's should, advocate you should say to them but when they've struck your head, instead of being like, oh, get off of me, just be like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, make them feel as awkward as yeah, possible. Ju- and, be, and be vocal with it as well. So just be what, like, why are you... you doing? Get, make sure the kids at the back can be like, why are you stroking my hair? Like, oh, your breath stinks, by the way. That, that's that, an automatic win. That yeah. is a dub. That or is a just be like, like, you stink oh, a B.O. Get away from me, you fucking reek. Oh, yeah, instant win. Instant win. My sister is pregnant. Congratulations. With my fiance's baby. You spoke way too soon. 
<laughs> you suck way too soon. Congratulations. <laughs> they have been cheating on me for two years while she lived in the house with us. Oh, dear. Should I leave him? Should I hate my sister? I feel like this is a bit of an easy answer. Do both. You should leave him and you should say, hate your sister if she's now pregnant with your fiance's child. Yeah. That's crazy. That actually happens. Your, That's well, real life. I was going to say Neef. Your niece. Your niece. Neef. Or, your niece or nephew, but I guess you have to wait until the baby's born to know if you're an uncle or an aunt. <laughs> I fucking hate that joke. <laughs> yeah, but you are now an auntie or an uncle to yeah. your fiance's child. Exactly. And That's you're so going to have to hate that kid. You don't have to, but you, you are going to have to grow up being like, could have been. You mine. can't stay with them. You can't There's no with. logical way of life where you stay with them. <sighs> no way, not a chance. If he's got her pregnant, he's going to keep going to your sister. Just let them be together and just ditch the family. Oh, that is so messed up. I hate it. Oh, that is that so happens in real life. People up. cheat all the time. And yeah. Oh. It's actually grim. What you think yeah, actually, grim? like, Ugh. it is so strange that. Everyone cheats our age, though. Not everyone. I would but never. No, neither. I've been brought up by... Good people. Yeah, <laughs> my da- my dad and then three women. So that was disgusting. I, I was genuine. I'm sorry. That I couldn't stop that. I don't think I'll ever cheat in my life. No, neither. I've been cheated on. Yeah. yeah. They know. They've heard all about They've it. They've heard all about it. They need us. Is this, so the question says, what can we help you with? That's what we ask on the dilemmas. And it says, yeah. get me some friends. So oh, yeah, let's let's actually help them. How, what's the best way to make friends? Let's go like let's say they're eighteen to twenty one. Yeah, I would say uh, push yourself out. Like actually get out of the house. Yeah, and join like a club. Yep, like like a football club football, or a Saturday cheerleading, or whatever. Do something, and um, <clears throat> some people you just can't help, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I agree. Like there's. I feel like you need to be susceptible to how conversations actually work. Because if you start a conversation or someone asks you for a conversation, like you get into a conversation yeah, and you just close all the, like everything off. And so don't it's like, ask how are how's you? your day? Good. Oh, my day's good. And that's it. And you don't go, how was your day? Yeah. You're just not going to make many friends. Pick up on interest. And if you have nothing to speak about either, just be like, oh, where'd you get that jacket from? And just... Go like that. Yeah, I do most of my shopping on ASOS. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Or if just, you have to do the basics, just do like, what do you do for yeah, a living? What, yeah. Where did you grow up? What's but, like, but you want it to be not like formal like that. Do you know what I mean? Like if you, like I can imagine, have you ever watched First Dates? Yeah. Sometimes when it's like, you can obviously tell that it's a mismatch and they're not clicking or anything. Yeah. And they're forcing each other to talk. Yeah. Or maybe the producer's just telling them to talk because it doesn't work. Their conversation is like robotic. Yeah. If you're having a robotic conversation. Get out. Better off having no conversation. Yeah. But you will find mates. Like there's always. Because I actually grew up thinking I'd never have friends. <laughs> what? Swear. Why? Because I was always like, I always really chased women and girls growing up. I, I was always like, <laughs> no, no, I'm being deadly serious. I'm being deadly, deadly serious. Mm-hmm. I, I'm being deadly you serious. You be as serious as you want. I'm still going to fucking laugh. No, I chased girls when I was eight. Yeah, I did. You chased girls. I could give you their names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, well, you know yeah, the saying. You're, eight, you're not girls. chasing girls. That's like no, when you're thirty. You know the saying, chase yeah, yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I was a, like not addicted, but I would always be like, oh, I want a girlfriend. I want this. What do you? Why are you? I'm laughing? just laughing. I wasn't addicted to girls when I was eight, but <laughs> like you could say I dabbled in addiction. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I fucking mean? Okay, so like, you would you no, were running around I was, trying to be you were their best friend. No, I was focusing on getting a girlfriend all the time. Like I jumped from relationship to relationship. At what age? Since I was born. <laughs> That's such a lie. When was your first girlfriend? Actual girlfriend? Who you said, will you be my girlfriend? Uh, I think it was like my next door neighbour. And I was like four maybe. Yeah. No, that was way no, too I've never heard of it. No, I had a girlfriend six, at six, like maybe. five. Five or six, yeah. My belly's rumbling so much. <laughs> I had a girlfriend at five until I was 10. But I literally, could, it was like this, this, and it was like one to the other. And I think yeah. the longest I'd been single since, from now being single, yeah. was maybe like six months. I was always had something going. <laughs> always. Something going. Literally did. Cause what did I, you have in year nine then? You know what I had in year nine. Like. I don't, I actually don't. It's just people. Like just, like I remember le- you did go leaning back on science. Like, will you be my girl? <laughs> I remember one from one Friday to another. You did have two best friends. 
separately. This is like year seven. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. This is year seven. That is not or year eight or whatever it was. That's it definitely a, wasn't this. That's an achievement. Yeah, in year eight. I did it in year seven as well. <laughs> Everyone was but, homie hopping. But right I, I watched a film called I Love You Man and it made me think I don't have I Where the boys at? No, I don't have a best mate. Mm. Like I, I don't ha- I have friends, but I don't have anyone like that. And I I, I, I kinda went not in like a gay way either. Mm. I kinda went from like girls over there. Come Strictly here, boys. boys. <laughs> yeah. Strictly boys. Strictly boys. But yeah, it was just it was it was weird. And then I found you. <laughs> God. What do you think the goofiest habit? Humbug. <laughs> What's the goofiest humbug? <laughs> what do you think the goofiest hobbies are? What do you think the goofiest hobbies are for adults to do? Disc golf. Yeah, that's goofy. That's if you goofy. put on your trainers and your socks and yeah, you go, if you go, bye, pro. honey, I'm going to play disc golf. Yeah. No, not even pro. If you go pro, it's somewhat acceptable. You make some prize money. No, if you just play it down the park. No, but I would go play it down the park once a year. Once a year, that's not a hobby, buddy. True. But it, yeah, okay, I'll we'll get what you mean. Okay, what about, what else? I think if you're like practicing, I said this for cheese rolling, and you yeah. just throw yourself down a hill yeah, but as practice. You have to, yeah, explain what it is a little bit. I reckon some people don't know what cheese so rolling is. Cheese rolling is, is it in like Gloucester somewhere? Yeah, like, or Cornwall or something like that. One, it, of the, one of the yeah, weird yeah. counties. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it is around Bristol because it's yeah. a bit like up and down. Yeah. But basically they have a cheese roll a roll of cheese. Yep. I don't even know if it is actually cheese or not, but they throw it down this really steep hill that is in a particular part of the country once a year and it's a big championship. It's this yeah. big thing. It's huge. It's 200 yard long hill and you chase a wheel of double Gloucester cheese. So is it in Gloucester? I'm yeah, guessing? yeah. Coop- See, Cooper's Hill. Should we sp- fucking go to the next one? It's yearly. Oh, when, when is it? It's got to be round. It's got to be springtime maybe? May. 29th of May. When does oh, summer start? That's, that's fucking... 20th of June. That's Bournemouth Sevens is 29th of May. Oh, damn it. We can't go to the cheese rolling competition. No, but that would be such a good idea for but a But once vlog. a year, that can't be a hobby either, though. If they're rolling no, down the hill once... Are you prepped are, for it? These are professionals. Professional cheese chasers. But what would be your tactic to doing that? I fucking hate rolling. It gives me a headache. I hate anything that go Like, the swings in the park, which go in a circle, I never get on them. I'm really susceptible to dizziness. Yeah. Like, I really think it just hits me in the States for like three hours. I remember so well, like so well. Uh, me and my brother went strawberry picking one time. Yeah. With my family. So we, we must have been, he must have been like 17. I must have been 12 or something. Mm. And on the way home, I was like, there's a new park in our town yeah. let's go to it and it had one of them things Sweet. Yeah, I was to roll like spun him and he was being like no how and I stopped him like still yeah and he just stood up fell on the floor and was just sick everywhere, everywhere. and I was like Ow. it's horrible I, I hate being bad. dizzy <laughs> yeah it's a hot I think dizziness and boat sickness go like hand in hand I get bad boat sickness mate the ferry to France when we were like 16 I was literally God, like jitters throwing up over the edge and, and then I just saw your dad just throwing chairs when I turned around oh my god should I say that I think you have before have I yeah say it again though it's the best fucking okay story. so when my dad and uncles were very little they went on uh, I don't know if it was p Cruises but it was uh, so it was Dover to Calais on the ferry mm. and they <laughs> my nan was just looking out the window <laughs> my nan was looking out so the window so their mum yeah yeah their mum was looking out the window my nan and she was just seeing like tables <laughs> chairs just in the sea and she was like what that's so weird and like people were going to the window for like a closer look and she wants a closer look so she goes outside and there were her three sons <laughs> just chucking tables and chairs <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing all the furniture into the ocean. <laughs> Imagine your dad. Oh my god! They, I can, I can tell they were little shits as young when they were young for sure. Because my nan gives me like hippie vibes. Yeah. And then my granddad was like a proper businessman, so he was just away from the house, and my nan was probably just like, yeah, do whatever. You want. <laughs> yeah, throw the chairs off the boat. <laughs> they got expelled from many schools. I'm not surprised. Do you got any more agony uncles? No, we moved on from that. That's why I was asking you the hobbies. Oh my word. Yeah. 
Oh, any okay. more any more I hobbies? Need to snap out of Yellison Town. <laughs> yeah. Any more hobbies um, that are goofy? I've Disc always, golf? I've hockey? Always, no. Like field hockey. I get like it I get it could probably be fun. For females just, that's a big thing. Yeah. Field I know. hockey, yeah. 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 Uh, um, and men it's one of the most played sports in the world yeah in it's, India it's, it's like everyone yeah it India just seems a bit crazy. goofy I do I do like watching it you like watching hockey no field hockey have you ever watched it in the Olympics no it's pretty impressive. oh yeah I have actually pretty yeah, fucking no, I impressive have, yeah. I can't lie yeah um, it's pretty fucking cool I think it's just the posture you have to have whilst you're playing hockey that's a bit goofy I yeah I've had a fear of hockey yeah why <laughs> When we were young, we got told to stand in a straight line with hockey sticks and everyone had to show their form of hitting a hockey ball. And I got hit in the throat bad with a hockey stick and uh, it cracked my collarbone and I couldn't speak. I thought my vocal, life was over. I thought my vocal cords were gone. Like I couldn't speak for a good hour or something. Really? It was horrible. It was painful as fuck. I've said the F word so many times recently. <laughs> what did you used to fantasize about as a kid? Not even, ju- not even, not necessarily like sexually, just like in general. What did you fantasize about? I, always, I really wanted to be a Lego creator, like someone that created <laughs> Lego. Really? Just like this designer. I did a presentation in year six. Presenting? Just why I should be a, like a job <laughs> application. <laughs> like I, I got up and was like, here's what I've made in the past. What had you made in the past? Low. Oh, I used to be, I used to get all out of Lego. Was it just like make your own random stuff or did nah, you follow like big ones like huge i had this like spider that i got for my birthday and i it actually took so long i ended up crying because <laughs> i just wanted to play with it but it w- took weeks to do you don't play with lego do you if it's that big you didn't it just with fall apart one, and shit with, with the, i just wanted it to be done yeah or like use it and imagine and fantasize about the war and i built like the the Harry Potter triple decker bus at Lego. Take it away, Ernie. Take it away, Ernie. I, Tree. I built so much shit out of Lego. Loads. Why don't you go back to it? <sighs> it's expensive. Time. It is expensive. Way too expensive. What's the thing on the Lego box? It says like three to ninety nine. So if yeah. you're a hundred, you can't do Lego. Yeah, you can't do Lego. I think the last thing I bought was it was a a bus that could turn into a plane and a car. So it was like a three in one. And when was that last year? No, that was, I must've been 16. Yeah. With some Blenheim 16. Palace 16? Yeah, I must've been. You were still chopping up Lego at 16. Cause I think I went shopping with my parents and there was a Toys R Us next door. And I was like, oh, I'm going to just go visit memory lane. Yeah, I miss Toys R Us. I used to go there all the time. Yeah, same. So, and the kids today won't know about Toys R Us. I used to get, when I went with my mum, we'd just go up and down each aisle mm. and then I'd just get like nothing pretty much and then like match text. Yeah. But then do you remember there was an ice cream one in the Botley McDonald's? There was like an ice cream Oh yeah, freezer. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like called like Calippo Shots. Calippo Shots. What the like- you don't, Do you remember Calippo Shots? I never liked- They were the what, baddest the, like ice the cream I've ever seen. Like the can? Yeah, with the tiny little balls. Balls. I do remember That's that. Calippo Shots. They were the- Baddest me. ice cream, like ice lolly, whatever you'd call it. <laughs> they still do yeah, them they, up. I'm gonna order them from Amazon. <laughs> Calippo shots. <laughs> yeah, they are those. fucking. Yeah. I've never used this word. Dank. <laughs> <laughs> they are dank. I actually don't do, give a fuck. Do you reckon they do them today? I don't know. I hope they still do them. I think they are on Amazon. I never like Calippos though. Oh, they're so bad. Like I never. Strawberry and lemon cream. I think that's why, because you know I don't like them sort of stuff. Yeah, anything I, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> anything that's flavoured. But I, I guess, I don't know, I just don't know, as a kid, like, I stayed away from all that shit. Which is weird. From what? Ice creams? Yeah. You stayed away from ice creams as a kid? Ice, ice lollies. I used to be an ice cream specialist. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What flavour were you having Vienna, as a kid? honeycomb, vanilla, vanilla pod. Oh, oh my God. Vanilla pod ice Did cream. Did your mum ever buy you a pod extract? To eat on his own. Yeah. No, I don't think so. So I was like, I would just couldn't, in my brain, I just couldn't get around the fact that vanilla was a plant. Yeah. It wasn't just some man-made thing. So my mum bought me an extract, like a little, like almost like a pepper. For you to just nibble on. Yeah. And I nibbled on it. It was fucking horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was disgusting. It's disgusting. And I was like, wait, I like this. We should make our own ice cream. Have you ever made your own ice cream? Um, I did it in school. I feel like I might have. <clears throat> I did an Oreo ice cream in school. Was it good or not? It was better than you think. It was, it was, it was so edible, but it was just not nice. 
It was so edible. Yeah. So, so you could eat it. Okay, how did you, how did you make it? You just had, you got like a bag milk, milk Oreos, crush it all up, and what then else did you add? You just ice it with like uh, you ice it with uh, carbon something to make the temperature cooler, so it's like quick freeze. Yeah, and then every time you get it, you just sort of mash it up. Have you seen? There's got to be sunning cows. It can't just be milk and Oreos. Yeah, it is. Have you ever seen those videos of that guy who makes the ice cream on a circle and he chops it up and rolls it up into a ball and shit? Yeah. We yeah, got... That's, it's called a cold stone. I get them all the time. Yeah, cold stone. I, that's ice cream, bro. I know. I got them in Spain. How's that made? Well, I feel like they pour... There's more <laughs> in that thing than just milk. No, I feel like the ice creams you get in the shops are filled with, like, preservatives yeah, and stuff to give it extra that taste. Yeah, sugar and shit. Yeah, but... Uh, no, it's just milk. In its truest form. I've never had a cold stone. Really? Where's yeah, it? I think you did. When? In Spain. I've no. got a video of the guy going... You never had a cold stone. That's so good. That's my favorite form of ice cream. video... Of a guy chopping it up when we're in, in Spain. Spain. Yeah, do you want me to try and find oh, it? No, because I would have got that as well. You did, I'm pretty sure. No, I've never had a cold stone. So what, you just watch me do it? Wait, well, you mean in the one that we last just went on? No. 20... With, with Connor? 19? No, 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 not 17. With Gui? 2019 with Gui, I reckon. What? <laughs> what? I'll find it. I, d- I, d- I don't remember this. Yeah, I think I got a strawberry one. It's in the video I made. You know, I made a... Yeah, no, I do remember you... Uh, I d- which shop was it from? Because there was a couple around. There's just a guy in the street. What? That was near our hotel. No, it's near the docks. When we it was after we got the boat. I do not remember being there at all. I do not he's remember. He's just in the street. It's strawberry. What? Strawberry, a dollop of chocolate, and then he's probably going to add milk at the end. I yeah. Do, I do not remember that at all. I fucking love cold stones. I, d- I definitely didn't get that. Let's find a cold stone near us to go to. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Why don't we make our own cold stone? I don't think that's possible. No. No. Yeah, how, is that even, how does that work then? How does it, what does a cold stone... Anyway. It's just fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a freezing stone. <laughs> so good. Weird things that make you feel anxious, like that you see in the like you could see in the street or whatever. I was holding a chicken walking down the road yesterday, like just oh, obviously not a chicken, <laughs> chicken breast, but like chicken breast in a packet. And yeah. then I wasn't wearing a coat either. Yeah, and that made me feel a bit on edge. Why? I don't know. Because people were looking at you just carrying meat. Yeah, and I also got filmed by someone was in a cafe, and they saw me and they filmed me doing it. And I looked back. Firstly, I looked like. Are you app- sure they filmed you? They weren't just taking a selfie? No, I, I literally got a video of it. They sent you a video of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and I swear to God, I look like the main character. Okay, let me see this fucking shit. I swear to God, I, I look bet like you the main look character. goofy as fuck. Not even. I, I bet actually you looked, look goofy I as actually hell. looked at myself and was like, wait, hold on. I'm that guy. No, why do I look like him for a sec? Hold on. Do you remember when we were walking back from Reading? Yeah. On the <laughs> first night or the second night? That was funny, it was good. Uh, these three girls were walking behind us and they said, oh, do you want to fire us? <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> like we were just, me and Matt were just walking, my yeah. business, and they were taking a piss. They were yeah. like, do you want to fire some? Oh, do you want to sleep with this girl? Da, da, da. Yeah. And then they were like, I was like, oh, we're gay actually. And then they were like, oh, okay. And then they were like, what are your pronouns? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm that guy. <laughs> and they were like, they just burst that out was laughing. fucking glass. Was so good. That was like a real community everyone's, like everyone's having friends. fun yeah everyone's yeah. having fun never saw him again look at this tell me i don't look like the main character in that <laughs> wait where are they chickaroos that's chickaroos and you i look lost. i, I look actually angry look, well, yeah i do yeah that's that's i i don't get a lot but i get some messages being like oh i saw you here today and i'm like oh on live i'm like come say hi and then in person you're like in person i'm like I think I do have like a resting bitch face. No, I, look, I just have an angry face. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't get people who walk around happy as fuck. No one walks around like. Maybe like 40 years ago when everyone was happy. Yeah. <laughs> Before everyone, the world went to shit. Yeah. Would you, would you, if they, if we got a, a message from Rishi Shunak saying you got to draft up boys to fight? To fight. Would you fight? Yeah, I'd be a sniper. I would not fight one, no chance. What well, if they a, made it mandatory? I'm you a would. conscientious objector. Firstly, secondly, peace all the way. I'm. There's no way, right? Sorry to go on a little rant. There's no way that I am 
fighting for some politician. No way. Yeah, true. Yeah, but what if he, they, they would spin it to like, you're fighting for your country, for da 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 da. What like if someone tried to invade us? What country? This country. <laughs> there, what if someone tried to invade anymore. us? What if someone tried to invade us? You wouldn't suit up. Yeah, but if it was like a, a war that was like, had nothing to do with us. Yeah. I'd be like, no. This is okay, just- well, what if it was like, you know, a, like a certain someone did, you know, a while back, started <laughs> moving, you know, some, from east to west <laughs> with, with a few troops behind him. You wouldn't fucking fight him on the beaches. Fight him on the beach. Great film, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Great film. <laughs> no. Which one? Don't balloon, think. Balloon. That I watched about East Germany and West <clears throat> Germany. Absolutely class. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. Wallop. What's your best? You didn't answer if you'd fight or not. If some certain man started moving from east to west, if we were getting invaded, I'd I'd be a defender, but I would not attack anyone. No, so it'd be self self defense. But I also wouldn't carry a weapon. All right, fucking Desmond Doss. I'd just be the shield. Ah, please, Lord, give me one more man. Yeah, (laughs) Hexel Ridge. Great film. What were you about to say? No, I would just ha- I'd just have a shield. No, before after before you said what would oh be- yeah no what, said- what the best oh the focus right nearly fell off today what <gasps> what the best speeches you can think of Timothy Chalamet and the King <laughs> this is England I meant like an actual speech make it mass um, like an actual Martin Luther King yeah Malcolm X that's got to be the best one surely Martin Luther King or the most well known most one. memorable most that all hit I reckon. Which Hitler one? Do it. <laughs> what do you mean, which one? There's only one. What, Hitler's speech? Yeah, that He one, made many a speech. He probably did, but that one big one. Do you want to... I'm not doing an impression of it. <laughs> the one that's like... Oh, he just sounds angry. But he I know he wasn't angry. angry. <laughs> he was hangry. <laughs> he hadn't eaten that day. You know, he was not... Who's he, the worst person on the planet ever? Hitler. Yeah, there's also King Leopold the third. And what did he get up to? Yeah, he's a Belgium king and he killed pretty much everyone in Africa, I think. Jeez. Yeah. Well, not no, that's wow, an exaggeration. Yeah. He killed like, he got rid of like countries basically. Killed everyone in like Chad. For no reason. No, Niger as well. They were disintegrated there. Like just, just got rid of everyone. And used it for like wildlife hunting and shit. What a wanker. Uh... It's got to be dictators and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Kim, Kim Jong. Jong. Mm. Where does he? Where does rank. he live up? Where does he rank up? Is he top five or not yet? I mean, he's still got a bit of his career left. So, he's, <laughs> he's, you know, where is he at? Yeah. Oh, he's horrible. <laughs> I don't know where he'd rank. We'd have to, you know, we'd have to really sit down and analyze their performance. <laughs> What's his XG? Yeah. <laughs> his XD. Expected deaths. Yeah. Well, if you had five, if he, if he was sat opposite you, yeah, you, he's, you've got five minutes with the fat fuck. Oh, I shouldn't say that. He might come for me or something. I don't know. He don't. He ain't got time. No, he can't move. <laughs> what would you say to him if you had five minutes? Say or do. Say. We're not getting violent. Peace is the way forward. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but with him. Oh, so you? That's where violence no, is allowed. No, yeah, because he is the politician. Yeah, he is that one. Like with him, it stops. So you take him out. Whereas, what's the, if I was fighting? Let's. I don't want to say a, just a random country. Yeah. Was invading Invading. Us. Yeah. What does me killing him have to do with anything? Nothing. Exactly. That's why they played football on Christmas Day. Exactly. That was beautiful. By the way, were you there? I was about to say you speaking like you fucking <laughs> witnessed it. But if, if, if he's opposite you, what would you say? Put the gun to his head. No. no what would, would you actually say? I would probably just say like. Why are you uh, like this? No, I would say. Uh, I'd say like a speech off. Suits. Okay. I'd just be like, "How the hell did you?" <laughs> I'd say, "How the hell did they know you were the cops?" How did you pass the board with no Harvard? <laughs> yeah. Let me show you what a Harvard attorney. Why are you does. crying? You're I crying cry. again. We've cried. How many times have we cried today? Well, I've cried once for nah, like three you seconds. You've cried a lot. What the hell? You ever woken up crying? Surely no. not. No. Don't think so. No. Falling asleep crying. Oh. I know. That was last night as well. Because oh, I was it? like, no, not November. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> no, I haven't failed. I'm going to do it as well. You won't. I reckon... The I'll thought of that noodle bar tonight is just going to... It gets the people going. No, but have you seen what would happen to your body? 
if you do know not November, does it improve dramatically? Massively, because I saw. Yeah, but also, mm, mm, yeah. Hold that thought. I know what you're gonna say. Why it reduces colon cancer? cancer and, yeah, yeah. But it's it's not as bad as you, it's like the it outweighs it so much more. Uh, what's the right amount to do it? Uh, once a week? I think you should do it way less than that. Way less than once a week. I think you should. It, I think the build up of testosterone that you need to be the ultimate. Alpha male, yeah. But I'm also I'm at the same time I'm scared to go a whole month because what does that mean for like the rest of you guys if there's just some alpha male walking around the house? <laughs> Won't it? It'll decrease performance though. No, what performance is in? Oh, oh right, right. I thought you meant like not day like to day. not day to day. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean like you you may. S- no, it's it's not because your testosterone is higher. Yeah, which means you're more excitable, which means it no, could... No, that, that's, that's a mental, that's a mental no, struggle. No, it's not. It it, I've literally experienced. No, but there's there's people that take testosterone, like porn stars and stuff. Yeah. That, like, how are they doing it? How are they going forever? Johnny Sin said... Because they get their reps in. Yeah, but Johnny Four Sin, a day. No, nah, that, that, don't, nah, that don't count. You did, sex isn't like that. Yes, it is. You get reps in twenty four. Bro, come on! If you go, no, if you go four years, the opposite happens. No, if the you go four happens. years without seeing a beautiful woman, <laughs> and then and and yeah, if you go four years without seeing a beautiful woman, yeah, and then you begin, begin. <laughs> you will definitely, definitely perform worse yeah. than if you yeah. have sex. Four times okay. a week. Okay, but if you are doing it four times, four okay, four times a week. Fair enough, that's fine. But if you're doing it four times a day, yep, you ain't getting it up. I reckon yeah, all these Viagra, porn stars yeah, are yeah, using yeah. Viagra. Yeah. Would you ever use Viagra? No, I'm 24. I know, but would you ever oh. in your life? If you're 50 and you're struggling, <laughs> probably yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Enjoy sex. With. <laughs> so Thanks for I, clarifying. So if I got to a point where I was like 60, oh, I did hear one time, fuck my life. I was, I've got my grandparents' mates came yeah. over from America and they were like openly talking about Ooh. using Viagra and stuff. And I was just like, cannot, yeah, literally can't. No, I can't imagine old people. Getting it on. No, like. Yeah, but you, like, I think you. you you're like stroking their body and it's just wrinkles like you're reading yeah, braille but if you're wrinkly <laughs> yeah that's the same like if you're if wrinkly, you're wrinkly you don't care like you you age together <laughs> i don't like this whole motion of like oh when you're 70 you're just suddenly unattractive yeah because but doesn't that go for both of genders no because when i'm 70 and my wife is 70 yeah i guarantee you i will still look at her and be absolutely obsessed and yeah think she's beautiful yeah i'm the same but it, that's because it's like her no, when I'm you, 70, I will find other 70-year-olds yeah. attractive, not just one. I, I don't think you will. I will. Let's put money on it. <laughs> I will. 20 quid. Yeah. Yeah, so when we sit down and do this pod when we're 75, yep. that'd be crazy. If we're still going, <laughs> something's gone wrong. Yeah, <laughs> we're stuck in this apartment as well. <laughs> I will find you and ask for my 20 quid when I when I find a baddie who's 74 and I go... No, I... Well, yeah, but you you will look at a 25-year-old or a 30-year-old or whatever and be like, they are so much more attractive... Than my wife. Than a, a, an Never. Eight. Yeah. Never. You know, I, my yeah, wife. Your wife. I'm talking about yeah, like someone wife. who doesn't... You're, you're talking about your wife. Which I don't have. Your person. That's your person. Yes. So when you look at her, you're thinking of the memories that... No. You are. That's bullshit. You don't look at a 75-year-old woman. My nan and granddad don't look at each other and see the 20-year-old version of them. They see what they see. And that's why they argue all the time. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they look at them and see the love. Their, their souls are bonded. So they don't even look. It's not even a physical or emotional bond anymore. It's something much higher than that. It still is. It's not. When, 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 they get their, when my nan gets her hair done... And my granddad compliments her. He's not. I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> Don't say something disgusting. I, I thought you were gonna say like when my grand gets her head done, she's so good looking. <laughs> she's you, beautiful. Have you I ever love f- fantasized about grannies and stuff? No, because I, I saw I'm not a fucking Wayne Rooney. <laughs> There's a comma in there. <laughs> I saw a tweet that was like a video, and it was of a a granny porn star saying, "Oh, like a lot of men in their early twenties." want to see older uh, women older like they fantasize about their own granny 
her yeah a lot of men in their 20s fucked. that's what she said a lot of men in their 20s fantasize about their own yeah granny. but she's not gospel we can't just take what she <laughs> says and go oh yeah fuck it she's that's right. her first name <laughs> gospel God. granny port <laughs> okay what do you want to comment on the first episode of the Lloyd and Matt show we love you Lloyd and Matt you know <laughs> Okay. One word. Yeah, just, yeah. Comment that as one word. We no, just you comment what you think. Yeah, comment wherever you want. No, no, no. Last time we did that, it didn't get as many comments. Oh yeah, yeah no, no, no. Know. Comment, comment. New setup, gang. Yeah, sure. New setup, gang. New setup, gang. Give it a like. That helps us out a lot. Yeah, so much. Subscribe. Share it as well. That'll yeah, do. turn your notifications on. Send it to any friends who you think might enjoy the pod. Yum yum yum. If you're on Spotify, give us five stars. Yes. You can follow us as well. Yes. And yeah, we're going weekly now. We didn't mention that. Oh yeah, shit. We're going weekly. We're so going weekly. there'll be an episode every week and they'll be slightly longer than they have been. But thank you so much for watching. Thank like you. the video and we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye. See you later.